opening up the main card of UFC Vegas 87, we have Matt Danger Cage Schnell taking on Steve Ursig. I don't know why I like that nickname. I don't even know Danger Caged. Like, wouldn't it be Caged Danger? You know what I mean? It confuses me. Like, so is he danger that's in a cage? That makes sense. He fights in a cage. But then you would just be like Matt Caged Danger Schnell, not Danger Caged Schnell. I don't know. I hate when you go off on these fucking stupid fucking tangents and just just yeah. the shit out of the stream. Let's open up some fucking cards. We got Matt Schnell taking on Steve Urseg. Matt Schnell, 16 and 7 overall. Two, two just and... danger. What's his Instagram handle? Turd Burger. He's Matt Danger Schnell. What's what the Instagram handle? Why are you always just what's yapping about the just insta- random that's what I shit? Thought. I mean, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Jeez. Matt Danger Cage Schnell is 16-7 and seven overall. 2-2-1 two, two and one in his last five years. Coming off that KO loss to Matoush Nikolaou. He's taking on everybody's favorite pizza boy, Steve Ursig. 11-1 overall. 5-0 and oh in his last five years on a 10-fight win sneak. Matt Danger Cage Schnell is a tough as nail striker. He's got solid BJJ. He does prefer to counter strike, and he does a great job. Let it's it not going to please. Oh, Daddy Danger. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Daddy Danger. <laughs> Matt Schnell, you're nasty. Dude, <laughs> you're a freak, dude. <laughs> Daddy danger. Daddy danger. All right. Anyway, he does have, despite being Danger's father, Matt Schnell is a tough as nails guy. Solid striker, solid BJJ. He prefers to counter strike. He does a really good job of getting you to follow him so he can plant his feet and fire back with combinations. He does not shoot takedowns very often. He averages fewer than one per fight, but his BJJ is slick and he does snatch things up and scrambles very well. But while he can be slick on the ground, he does struggle to get it there with a low 44% takedown accuracy. He is coming off that second round knockout loss to Matoush Nikolaou. He was dropped twice and taken down. He's taking on Steve Ursaig. Steve Ursaig is a slick grappler. He likes to attack. He's very quick on the ground. He snatches things up in scrambles. His striking is not great, but he does have good calf kicks, and he has picked up the volume recently. He's got a very wide stance, limited head movement, so he does get hit. He does have a nice jab, though, and he will pump that out while moving forward. His striking is not going to turn any heads. It's not going to get you very excited, but his grappling might. He moves fluidly. He seizes the opportunities. He's coming off the decision win over Alessio Costa, or Alessandro Costa, where he went... An embarrassing one for eight in takedowns, but he did have success striking. Matt Schnell's crazy tough. He is the father of danger. Literally has risen from the dead. We watched him die in the octagon. His soul left his body, and then it came back in, and he rose up, and then won that fight. Sumaderji was it come into. <laughs> I saw a TikTok with a dog barking. And uh, it just said, I don't know which end is barking. And it was the dog facing the opposite direction. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like a little like, pug or what? something. Yeah. Every time it barked, the butthole was <laughs> <Yeah>. like, burr, <laughs> burr. Like, it was, it was crazy. Uh, pugs are the worst. They are the worst. I, I 100% agree with that I, statement. I lived, anyway. I had lived with two of them. They're just like, they're not, like, they're they're man-made dogs. Yeah, that's why they're so messed up. Like, they would never have survived seven. in the wild. <laughs> yeah. At least, like, my dog's a man-made dog, but at least it's, like, a combination of two real dogs, a poodle and a a Labrador, two healthy dogs. Anyway, Matt Schnell, we have seen how tough he is. We have seen him rise from the dead in the octagon, and while he is gritty, and while that grit does help him win fights like that, I don't think it's going to help here because Steve isn't that guy. He isn't the guy that's going to chase a finish on his feet and then gas himself out and almost have you done. That's my dog and Jacob's dog just enjoying the day. There was a look better picture than fucking, that. Look how big my fucking dog is compared to your little pussy dog. We hear your dog eat three times on every that stream. That little rat. Every time on every stream, we hear your dog eat three fucking times. I wonder why she's enormous. Making fun of little Joey. Matt Schnell, very durable. I don't think it's going to matter here. I think you, I do think Steve Ursa is going to get it done. I think he's zeroing in on a solid jab. Will eventually get this to the ground. I think he will get it done. Steve Ursa doesn't look the part of a professional fighter, but I do think he's going to win this fight. Ursa is the pick. What do you think? 
Jacob. Oh, you tried to think of something clever to say, but you couldn't think of anything clever to say. So no, I didn't want to. I didn't want to say anything clever. You're not deserving after making fun of my adorable dog. Oh, big Jojo! I do like it. It's a good dog. He is. Um, a good dog. And it was cool how they, they. I mean, they immediately bonded, got along. So we might have. Joey's a bit so of a weird because he does love situation. Like so, you brought you came over to let my dog out. Appreciate that. You brought your dog. They all played, ran around, chased each other. I no kept problem. looking for the uh, the envelope with money, but I guess I did that for free. You didn't. For- <laughs> <laughs> I guess I. Uh, I was like, I was like, I thought he was going to put some money somewhere, at least for the gas <laughs> or something. But apparently, that was just a favor. It, 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 it was a favor. There that is exactly what it was. <laughs> but then we walked, like we went on a family walk today, and my youngest is like, "Can I hold the leash?" And I'm like, "Joey's not good on the. You can't hold his leash. He's not good on the leash. He's just going to take off." And then she just kept asking, and so I was like, "Fine." And then there was like a giant. German Shepherd across the street and he fucking took off and the 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 uh, leash flew out of her hand and she's crying and thank God I am skinny skinny you fit and I took off and I stepped on the um, the leash and he was came back and saved the day. Nice. Who do you think wins this fight? Yeah, I'm I'm pretty high on Steve Ursig in the, in this matchup. I know a lot of people are like, oh, he looks like Ryan Hall, and honestly, it does kind of get me going a little bit. But he is she he should, he should be the better fighter in this matchup. I think he's the more technical striking. And you mentioned his striking isn't any, anything special, but it almost kind of lulls you to sleep because it is just kind of just ones and twos. But it's nice and tight and it's nice and tactical. And like I said earlier in, in another breakdown, sometimes if you don't look for the knockout, the knockouts will find themselves with the way you strike and he has just such precise striking I think that he has an opportunity to hurt Matt Schnell in this match to knock him out completely I don't think so but it's going to be enough to hurt him to get in scrambles and that's where Steve Ursay, as you said really shines he really is kind of a grappler and unfortunately for Matt Schnell what he does best is is probably in those scrambles he's almost like a like a Brandon Roy vault where yeah he might get hurt a little bit but once you start scrambling with them he's going to be live to find stuff I think Steve Ursa is going to be the bigger guy in here and is going to be be able to withstand those weird scrambles. So outside of like a, a cr- something crazy happening in the grappling, I think Steve's a better striker, can hold his own in the grappling, and maybe even win some offensive scr- scrambling as well. So I'm, I'm pretty high on Steve in this matchup. He's also shown that although he kind of looks like a pussy, the dude's not a <laughs> pussy, right? He can take shots. He can be a nail. He can win decisions. He can out-tough people. He's a tough dude that's going to be moving forward. And outside of a, a Hail Mary submission, I don't I don't see where Matt Schnell wins. So I'm, I'm pretty high on Steve this week. I, I, minus 310. I think it should be minus 400. I think he should be one of those guys that's pushed to minus 500, honestly. I mean, he's a fucking... He's good. I, listen, I'm, I'm with you. And, and good for Steve Ursa. I mean, it's about time, like, a handsome dude loses a fight to a normal-looking dude. It's a, it's about time something like that happens. So. Are you saying that Steve's not a good-looking dude? <sighs> not as good... You know, Steve looks like if he went to a restaurant and the waitress was nice to him, that he would think she was flirting and then ask her out on a date. That's what Steve Ursig looks like. He looks like that guy. The guy that doesn't realize waitresses make tips and you shouldn't ask them out. And people say that about strippers too. Like obviously strippers are just nice to you to get their money and stuff. But I've sat at a strip club eating pizza with strippers just hanging out. I'm that type of guy. You know, I'm that type of guy that they're like, oh, this guy's awesome. He's hella cool. I want to sit down and eat some pizza with him. So I've been been that guy before, but definitely not the, uh, the, the waitress guy. I mean, it just like yeah, maybe at Hooters s- when I was like you know, <laughs> at sixteen or seventeen, you know, you're sitting there and you're like, oh, I gotta, I gotta get the chicken breast. <laughs> I remember I, I the first the first time I went to Hooters, I think I was sixteen, and I went with my friends. Like obviously, when you get your driver's license, you just let's go to Hooters, you know. And I remember being sixteen years old, being like, oh, 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 oh. I know, just being, couldn't like, that, that giggly energy. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. And that's and, well, there was that whole office episode, but I just couldn't. You, you hit a certain age where you just should know how the world works, and people who make tips are not your friend, and they're was, not interested. I was a waiter, and I mean, the amount of girls that thought that I was in love with them was <laughs> all, every mom, every grandma. You know, I'm putting the charm on. I flash this smile, and they're like, "Oh my god, I think he wants to fuck me." Yeah, and half the time it's true. Ninety percent of the time it's true, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that yeah, I'm sure that side is. <laughs> Unfortunately, on the other side, that's not true. When a waitress in whatever the hell town you live in puts down your iced tea and says, "Here you go, hun," 
she doesn't Ooh, really me mean going. to. She doesn't really mean know. to call I you kinda, hun. She doesn't. She's that's not the kind calling of you porn hun. I watch. She's not interested. She's that's not the kind, interested. That's the porn Save I yourself watch. the embarrassment. She's not interested. But what I am interested in is this it's Steve Urseg money line. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Steve Urseg money. I do have Urseg in a parlay. The other half was. Uh, we just broke him down. Oh, yeah. Eric Anders. Eric spelled weird Anders. Uh, Anders and Urseg. I threw them in a parlay together. Uh, that's my risky favorites parlay. I, you know, Anders can lose that fight, and I think Urseg can lose this fight. What's funny is you're way more confident in Urseg than Anders, and Urseg is far more affordable, odds wise. I don't know. You said that he should be a bigger favorite, but yeah. So anyway. Right. That's why I put, that's why I bet Urseg. I didn't bet Anders. Very good, Angelo. Yeah. See? $9,200 in DraftKings makes sense. You think he can finish Snell? Probably catch him in a submission. He's not going to TKO him. Eh, I mean, maybe a heel hook. Maybe maybe an Imanari roll into a heel hook. We might be seeing one of those. I mean, he does, it does lead. Looks like those would be the moves that he's this trying. Be back for to sure. back to back weeks, right? We had Claudio Poyas last week, and then who was it? It was, uh, oh, it was fucking Ryan Hall's buddy. The two Carlos weeks ago. Vera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here we go again. Man, it's been a fun... Whew. No wonder Lock Week's been losing. Been a little distracted. A bit a little distracted. <laughs> oh, the leg lock, guys. Anyway, if you want to unlock all the picks, the bets, the round line leans, and more, we want picks.com. Just click become a member at the top. Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link, sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you.